US dollar has been under pressure during the holidays and now it's meeting a new decade as an outsider. At the same time, the euro tends to become the favorite of the passing year. It looks like the common currency is trying to play back all the failures. The US dollar nosedived and it can show the smallest annual growth in last six years. In general, 2019 is a rather successful year for the US currency. However, at the end of September, the US dollar passed its local peak. In December, its downward movement accelerated. Today, the US dollar edged lower against most major currencies, extending its recent weakness. The US dollar index is at the level of 96.68. Analysts suppose that the main reason for its depreciation is appetite for risks caused by upcoming trade agreement between the US and China. Besides, the US Fed has poured in liquidity that also pushed the currency lower. At the same time, the current market situation boosted most major currencies. The euro managed to hit again the highs logged in August. Yesterday, the common currency closed 23 pips higher. The euro-dollar pair consolidated at 1.1211 after reaching a new high of 1.1221. Economists expect that the pair can show mixed trading, including a drop to 1.1190 and a rebound to 1.1223. From technical point of view, the pair is ready for correction amid tepid market activity. However, it's expected that the euro-dollar pair will move upwards. According to the recent news, the Phase 1 deal will be signed during this weekend. Chinese Vice Premier Liu He will visit Washington. The market participants have already priced in this event. That is why after the holidays, markets will be focused on Brexit. Today, the US will publish the house price data. Besides, Conference Board will also reveal the Consumer Confidence Report for December. However, most traders have already left the market for Christmas holidays. Thus, no reaction is expected. The Canadian dollar consolidated near one of the key levels at 1.3045. After testing this level, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar pair can continue falling to 1.3027 or even lower to 1.30. Then the pair is likely to start a correctional movement. Despite a significant US dollar depreciation, buyers can gain the initiative at any time. Goldman Sachs published a rather optimistic forecast for the US economy. It shows that the country's economy will grow as early is in the first quarter. Although such forecasts do not produce the desired effect on the market, traders are getting more and more evidence of the US economy's strength. InstaForex channel wishes all our viewers Happy New Year and we'll see you back in January. Bye!